So what's up automation engineers in this video we're going to um, learn about loops in Cypress Now there is one really simple concept you need to understand about Cypress you know a behavior of Cypress you know once you get that it's really easy to understand pretty much anything about Cypress not only loops I have actually shown you this before in in then command video if you have not watched that you can go ahead and watch that um, but let's uh, rerun the same thing so I got this visit command where it's navigating into Google and I'm typing hello world into the, the search box now in the execution you'll see it will type hello world but let's open this test script you know loop dot test dot js file in the execution window go to S specs and right now we are automating google so this name will be google.com go into cypress again to cypress integrations you will find all the test scripts you are running right now inside this directory and open that i'm going to put a debug point here and rerun the test now it will stop here now i'm going to step over as a result when i stop over it will execute this statement now you can hit escape key to bring up the console right below the um, sources tab so in the console you can see it printed one into the console as we expected now if i hit step over it will execute this cy visit call okay now nothing happened we can see the blank page still there in this um, iframe. I'll step over again. It printed number two to the console. Again, nothing happened. Step over again. It printed number three into the console. Now we are at the end of the script. Still, there is the blank page. Cypress did not navigate into Google or typed hello world. Now, what the hell is going on? Let me show you that i'm going to put a debug point here this is not part of my script or whatever this is a cypress code base now i'm going to pause the or oh, sorry resume the script now it will stop here if you check this q variable you can see there are uh, there are three commands in that array if i expand that let's expand so as you can see we got visit get and type in 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 this uh, q variable and in the same order they should be executed you know we have called visit get and type commands in the script like so so i think now you have realized that um cypress is not going to execute stuff just because we are calling them you know it's not going to execute this visit, visit command right away it will add that command into a queue you know including all these details the base url and stuff um then after the script is the script has ended you know there are no more commands to execute in this script cypress will start pick um one command at a time and execute that right now the index is zero now in the queue zeroth index has this object command object name of the command is visit so if i resume the script it's going to visit to google now again it's it is stopped here now the index is one this time it's going to be the get command now let's resume so it um, captured the element now the index is 2 and it's going to be type command now let's resume the script you can see it typed hello world um to the to that um, input tag so that's what's going on it's really simple when you call something when you call a cypress command it's not going to be executed right away but that will be added into a queue where where um, 
those being uh, picked one at a time and executed after you know there are nothing to to be um, added into the queue in the script so concept is really simple now um, let's get rid of all the debug points and files okay now let's look at a loop In this loop, I'm calling these two statements. First one is log. The second one is cy then. This is a Cypress command. This is not a Cypress command. Now, in the first log, I'm um, printing hyphen the index. In the second command, the Cypress command, um, I'm calling log with a, uh, you know, asterisk and the, the, the um, index. Now, Try to guess the output. I'll save this and I'll go to the console. Let's rerun. We got, oops, I think I forgot to save this one. Yep. You can see it, it's printing 0, 1, 2, you know, with hyphen. And after that, it's printing 0, 1, 2 um, with asterisk. So now, if you understood the previous concept, you know, uh, adding things into a queue, you understand what's going on here. So JavaScript will start executing the first iteration. This time it's going to be, it's going to log hyphen zero. And in the next statement, then command will add, will be added into a queue. It will not execute it right away. Then we got the uh, next iteration where it's logging hyphen number one again it's going to uh, add then command into a queue then the last iteration it will print um hyphen number two and again this uh, then command will be added into a queue so we got three then commands in total in the queue once this um, the script has you know finished or you know there are no more commands to add within this test script cypress will start executing um, commands in the queue so that's why we got this output hyphen 012 and asterisk 012 so this is the really basic concept you need to understand that there is nothing complex now when we're talking about looping stuff there is one more way you can use that is for each loop if you are familiar with for each loop in arrays and stuff you already know this how uh, you know you already know how this works so i have wrapped this array using cypress wrap command and i'm passing it to each loop in cypress now we can pass an um, anonymous function where it takes a parameter and logging out that parameter now it's going to print abc into the console now the same way we can iterate any iteratable this time let's iterate actually i'll have to uncomment this line um this time we are iterating all the anchor tags in google.com if you have watched my get command video you already know this get command is going to yield one or multiple elements to the next command in this case they are going to be multiple anchor tags so each will receive you know like 20 elements and because i'm passing an anonymous function it's going to pass um, all those elements one by one into this function um, inside here i'm printing the text of that anchor tag so let's see again save it, it's visiting after that it printed all the anchor tags so so those are the ways you can loop stuff there is while and do while and stuff but i'm not going to cover them because they are really similar to for loop now let's talk about questions people are having so i have seen this in in uh, groups and stuff people are creating lists and they're looping um let's say 10 10 times 
then they are executing Cypress commands inside that for loop. Now, in this then command, I am pushing index into this list, right? Now, actually, let me get rid of this. Now, you would think when you print the length of that list, that will be um, 10 because we are pushing it in the Cypress then command, right? But let's see, I'm going to save this and the, the result is 0. So, why is that? It's 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 the same thing I said earlier you know we have created a list right now it's empty and this statement is going to be um, looped uh, 10 times so there are uh, then 10 then commands in the queue they are not executed yet now um, Cypress is going to execute or Mocha is going to execute this statement right now the list is empty so it's going to um, print the length zero but if you put a um, then command and console log out a uh, list length of that list inside that then command this will print 10 you can see let me run that again you can see it it will take some time because um, Cypress need to execute all the you know 10 then commands in the loop first then after that it will execute the the length of the list so again the same concept I have said earlier it's really simple let me repeat myself one more time these then commands will be added into a queue they will not be executed right away after the script has you know there are no more commands to add it, uh, Cypress will start executing. Now there is one more example. People people are doing you know trying to do something like this you know creating a variable assigning it to true and um, um, they will put that variable into a while loop we are um, it's breaking conditionally inside that while loop now you would think um, when when the text is hello world this loop will break but this is no, never going to break because um, actually I'm not setting the the value hello world into that element but still even if it was hello world it's not going to break because let me tell you so in this while loop we are calling two cypress command get and then these commands will not be executed but added into a queue um, in cypress so this loop will never be false um, because uh, in order to in order these to be executed all the commands has to be added into the queue but while loop is never, never going to break because this loop variable is true so this will run forever now in this video i'm not going to cover how to break loops like this i'll take that to the next video so if you want to get notified hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified when i'm releasing the next video so i think this is it for this video thanks for watching have a nice day